everybody happy saturday i thought i would film a little weekend vlog because i don't vlog a ton on the weekends and typically if i vlog a ton during the week i take the weekend off just to like let myself like relax and rest but i haven't vlogged since monday just because i have my reset and stuff go up so i thought it'd be kind of fun to take you guys through the weekend because we really don't do much and I think it's important to show this side because whenever I film like a productive Monday video or getting my life together, you guys are always like, oh my God, like you're so organized, you have your shit together. But the only reason I'm able to have a really productive week is because I do nothing on the weekends or like minimal, you know, I really do spend my weekends relaxing and resting. And obviously that wasn't always the case. I worked shift work for years in the sense that I worked like days, evenings and weekends in the hospital for the first like three years that I, I worked in the hospital. So I definitely feel like it is such a like privilege and luxury to just have weekends off, honestly. I'm really, really grateful for that because for so long I was working two jobs and even when I was just working the one job, like I was working, you know, evenings and weekends. So I'm just really grateful. And it's really nice too that Matt's on the same schedule as me because obviously, for the first few years that Matt and I were dating, he was doing shift work in the ICU as well, days and nights. So our weekends never really lined up. And so it's really nice to have that now because Matt is Monday to Friday in the clinics. So yeah, but I wanted to do a little weekend vlog. I thought it'd be just kind of fun and we'll see what we get up to. Currently nine, I got up around eight. Usually on the weekends, I mean, Matt has like a 7 a.m. internal alarm clock even on the weekends. I, however, can sleep in. I have no issue with that. So Matt usually will get up with Stella and then I'll just sleep in just because he's already up. But today he was going to help his brother, which I said this before, but one of his brothers is building a house near us, which is exciting. And so because he's a contractor, he's doing a lot of the work himself. And Matt loves to learn. He like wants to be more handy. And so he's going to help. I don't really know what they're actually doing, to be honest at all but he's doing something on the house and so we're just having a nice quiet morning around here i'm just watching some vlogs reading i'll share my current read with you guys and then yeah we don't really have any plans we did groceries last night i, I tried vlogging yesterday but i just wasn't in a good mood um not, i wasn't in a bad mood but like i don't know if you're like someone who is a content creator i'm sure you can relate but like i wanted to vlog so badly but then every time i picked up the camera i was just like hated the way all the footage turned out so i was just like i'm putting the camera down and i'm rest i'm resting today but we didn't do much i had a massage yesterday that was so good it was like a scalp head and neck massage which i obviously need because i carry a lot of tension in my neck with my migraines so that was life-changing honestly and then we did groceries last night we had takeout we watched game of thrones and we were in bed by 10. really banger friday night honestly but today we have nothing planned and then tomorrow is so cute matt his dad and his brothers are gonna have like a little like sunday night football hangout and they invited my dad which is so cute my dad's in a fantasy football league with matt's like brothers and his dad it's so cute matt and i always say that we love the like bromance that our dads have it's like the most adorable thing ever so he's going to that tomorrow night i'm getting my nails done tomorrow and yeah it's gonna be pretty chill um i'm hoping maybe we can run out tomorrow morning do you guys hear how loud the heat is right now Oh my god um second cup was super kind and they sent us a gift card because they just released a bunch of new menu items so i thought maybe we could go get coffee tomorrow morning the heat is so loud oh my goodness but anyways that's what's going on it's gonna be a pretty chill weekend we're not really gonna do much and that's just how i like it honestly just relaxing so current read is the last thing he told me finally i really want to read this before it comes out i think i want to say it's coming out on amazon but I'm like really into this book. Like I feel like I've heard really, really mixed reviews. And um, so far, like I have no idea what's going on. If you guys don't know, this is about a couple, Hannah and Owen, and then Owen just like goes missing one day and like smuggles a note to her that says protect her. And then Owen has a 16 year old daughter named Bailey. And it's all about like, Hannah and Bailey trying to figure out like what happened and like apparently the tech company he worked for was like being investigated by the FBI for like being fraudulent and stuff so I have literally no idea where he is what happened like I have no idea I'm so hooked so far so I'm really liking this book I feel like it's either going to be a really good reveal or really not about I'm about halfway done so I'm kind of hoping maybe I can finish this this morning or today or this weekend at any point really and I don't really know what time 
Matt is coming. That heat is so darn loud. It's not even cold out. I don't know what time Matt's coming home. Probably around lunch, I would assume. And then I guess we'll just see where the day takes us. But we're gonna have a cozy, relaxing weekend together. And I'm so excited to spend it with y'all. So that's what's going on. I'm gonna just sit and chill for a little bit. I thought it was like 10, but it's only nine. So I'm gonna sit and chill for like another hour, honestly. Read my book, watch some YouTube. Although no one really uploads on Fridays and Saturdays. So I don't really have much to watch right now. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna read for a bit actually. I just finished this two and a half stars nothing special very bland it was not really the vibe honestly it was like five stars until about 50 percent of the way through and then it went downhill real quick okay, i'm also making some sourdough toast because i'm just a sucker for toast and butter but i wanted to have some like substance to my breakfast so i just did one of these little oikos lime yogurts i'm like really in my lime yogurt era but obviously like, this little thing is not enough to fill me up and i just mix it with some plain yogurt and then i added some vector cereal as like my granola and then some hemp hearts you cannot convince me that the sound of buttering toast is not the best sound in the world ready yum i'm literally so excited right now Hello, what are you doing? Like, so those collars here. We've got toys literally. What are you doing? What are you doing? Here, let's open some curtains up. It's kind of dark in here. Oh, wow, she is bright. I'm not really in the mood to make the bed yet, so I'm just gonna honestly throw everything up here. All right, I'm gonna take my vitamins. Well, am I? Hashtag birth control. Oh, oh my God, can you imagine if I lost that? All right, um, always talk to your doctor before taking vitamins. I take the same thing every day though. You guys probably are used to me hearing it. I literally do not think that like, I don't know, our gummy forms, if there is like a doctor on here or someone who knows anything about vitamins, because Matt and I don't know this, even though he's a nurse, he's like, I don't know. Like pill form and gummy form, is there less in the gummy form? I guess there's more additives in a gummy form, right? Because there's like, pectin and all the stuff to keep it together but it's just so much more enjoyable so i take probiotics i really want to try seed i honestly just buy whatever's on sale and i like gummies but i really want to try seed because they have like convenient carry packs i also find gummies easier to take because you don't have to like use it with water omega fish oil take three of these bad boys those are like the freaking honking pills I grabbed C by mistake, but C is not bad to take because C is good for like your immune system. But I typically take D3 for the sun, but it's pretty sunny today. I only really take this honestly if it's really gloomy out, like consistently. Um, and then I take B12 because I'm deficient in it. Not everyone should just take any vitamins, honestly. Do not listen to the people on TikTok. Yeah, like stop listening to people on TikTok and go talk to your doctor. I could like rant on and on about how I'm just like done with TikTok. Take B12 because I'm deficient. Love that for us. All right, little update. It's currently 11.30 and I've just been like putting loads of laundry in and I just took myself for a walk. Just made myself a tea. I can't decide if I want a second coffee yet, but sometimes you guys know I used to have a caffeine problem. And so now I'm typically good with one coffee a day, but sometimes I'm just crazy. I realize I'm like just craving warmth. So um, if I'm like craving a second coffee, I'll typically have like a cup of tea first to see if that fixes it. Like if I was just looking for some like warmth and comfort and if I actually needed the caffeine, then I'll make another coffee after. I actually bought the Starbucks cold brew yesterday because I don't find it very strong at all, but it's kind of nice for a second coffee because it's not super strong. So I might have that after. I also need to go to Shoppers Drug Mart at some point because I'm not gonna lie, I was very impulsive yesterday. I find sometimes with like points, like PC points, I get carried away. And I have to remember that if I wasn't gonna spend the money in the first place, it's not a good deal. Like yesterday, it was like if you spent $60, you got, I don't remember how many points you got, 20,000 points or $20 in points. And I genuinely didn't need literally anything. Like literally 
anything. But I was like, oh my God, that's like $20 off. I have to go get stuff. And then you guys, let me show you what I got for $60. You're going to be appalled. First of all, inflation is just like so real. And second of all, Shoppers Drug Mart is expensive. I typically only shop at Shoppers if I need things during a points event. But I didn't need any of this stuff. Like I just bought it to get to the $60. And then afterwards I came home, I looked at what I got for $60. And I was like, this is disgusting. I'm returning this because... I got barely anything for $60. And so yeah, I'm not perfect. I'm also impulsive sometimes, especially when you like dangle a points offer in front of me. I think I need it because it's a good deal. But guess what? If you didn't make the per like it's not a good deal unless you needed this stuff. Let me show you what I got. $60 got me. I mean, the main culprit is my face wash. This is like $25, but I already have one backup. So like, I don't really think I need a second one. And I'm also starting Tret, Tret Noen. So I can't actually use this when I'm on Tret, so there's no point in having a million backups. This is mine. This is also mine. All right, ready? A travel-sized toothpaste, a travel-sized face wash, a beauty blender case, which I actually, this is like important, but this was $15. I'm sure I can get it cheaper on Amazon. And toothbrush holders. Like that cost me $60 fucking dollars are you joking me it's all honestly going back to the store i don't even care take the points back it's just like not worth it like that is i'm appalled like i said i typically don't shop a ton at shoppers anyways because of that reason like it's just so expensive but like let me see if i can find a beauty blender case yeah see they have them on amazon for like eight dollars oh my god look real techniques sponge and travel case for $8.97 so that's a better deal but like that's just insane so anyways that is that and then there's really nothing else that I want to do I maybe want to find a new book to start I'm trying to remember I downloaded some books on Libby last night I'm like literally in my Libby era I love my Kobo so much it was the best purchase ever I feel like there are times where like points events are worth it so for example Joe Fresh was if you spent $50, you got $10 back in points. And obviously, once again, not worth it if you don't need anything. But I actually threw out my black booties because they're like five years old. They were from like Ardennes, so they cost me like $15. They were just like super salty and ruined from like the last three winters of wearing them to like work and stuff. And so I finally said like, it's time to say goodbye to these. They were destroyed. But once again, I just don't like to spend a lot of money on like work shoes and stuff because I don't go into the office a ton. But Joe Fresh had a pair on clearance for $39, which is pretty good. And then I just bought a pair of mittens because like you always need a pair of mitts, um, which brought my total to 50 bucks and I got the $10 in points. So I think that's a good deal. But if you weren't gonna spend the money, it's not worth it. And like, if you're telling me I can spend 50 or $60 on something, whether it be Shoppers or Joe Fresh, I'm gonna pick the boots, so. Oh, that's like a huge, huge, blah, 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 like I'm just like talking a million miles a minute. I just made this salad for lunch and it looks so good. I really just wanted to use up a ton of stuff that we had in the fridge, obviously, because it's gonna go bad soon. So lettuce, tomatoes, cucumbers, Havarti, prosciutto, and then I'll show you guys the salad dressing. It's like a local one if you're in Ottawa. It's so good. This is the dressing. It's so good. They're at like a lot of farmer's markets. It's insane, yummy. So I have that on there. I'm gonna plop myself back on this couch to eat my lunch. Very exciting weekend going on here. We're gonna watch some more YouTube. Get your ball. Where's your ball? Get it. Okay, come on. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> what do you have to say, ma'am? Where's your ball? Can you get your ball? Good job. <laughs> okay, as you guys saw, we had a fun little time at the dog park. It's so fun to go on the weekends because it's usually a lot busier, obviously. So we were there for about an hour. I just made myself a smoothie. Does anyone else like still drink smoothies even in the winter like i would purposely bundle up so i can have a smoothie having this it's very thick though i did not put enough liquid silly me and it's also very proteiny tasting today so whatever it's fine it is what it is i'm really in my kefir era i just got the one from pc my dynamite order came except the man threw my package in the snow so it's all wet but oh this is oh this is so soft oh my gosh this is really soft i have the hardest time buying bodysuits because i'm 5'11 i have big boobs and i have no ass so 
typically I have to size up in bodysuits, but then it like drapes in my butt because I don't have a butt. Or it's like, do you get a smaller size and like suck it up that it's like so tight in your crotch? But I don't know if you can tell the feeling. It's like super stretchy. And yeah, it's just like a t-shirt bodysuit. I'm gonna try it on after. Hopefully it fits. It looks like it will because the crotch spot is like long and promising, honestly. Very oversized and like perfect. It's like this really cute Henley. But I can't describe it. I feel like Henleys are either really soft or they're not soft. And this is really soft and it's like slightly cropped. Maybe we should just try it on and see. I don't know how people get it to like sit cute. So I'm not sure how I feel about it. And it's like the perfect cropped length. But I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think if you like it or not. I think it's comfy honestly. I guess that's all that really matters. But I'll try on the bodysuits after. I'm not sure if I'll even do it today. I'm not really in the mood to like... Body suits is like a whole other energy level of trying on clothes, you know? So we'll see. But success, I think I'm gonna keep it honestly. It's just like comfy even to just like chill at night. And it was like $10. Anyways, I'm gonna go back and sit on the couch. I think I'm gonna get my Kobo and start a new book. Just got home and of course, who's surprised? He had to stop at the grocery store and get a sock. <laughs> I love these actually, these sugar, what are these sugar snap peas and some carrots? Cause we're having, which like babe, are you sure you wanna have that? Cause you've had rice like three nights this week. Rice? Okay, we're having this one specifically. Sticky ginger beef and rice bowls. So. Oh, it, it calls for snap peas. Oh. This is like our all-time favorite. Huh? Do you have ginger left? No, but this calls for just ground ginger. We have ground ginger. You put ginger in the rice. Ground ginger. Yeah, this is our all-time favorite. to wait until it was bright to show you guys this but yesterday we went to the thrift store with my sister-in-law like she was just like hey do you guys want to go thrifting and we were like yeah and look what we found i literally squealed when i saw it and i refused to walk away from it because i wanted it so bad i feel like my weekly thrifting trips finally paid off i'm literally so excited oh my freaking goodness we scored this coffee table and then this side table oh my goodness i'm obsessed it is so beautiful. It's obviously like a little dinged up, but it's fine. We're probably gonna buff it out and then like maybe refinish it. I'm not sure. I actually don't mind this color. And I feel like a used coffee table, it just has character. And then you don't feel bad if it like gets, you know, damaged, but there's like little scratches in it. But oh my gosh, you guys, I'm obsessed. I was looking online for one like this and I found a similar one for like $1,400 on Crate and Barrel. Or maybe, I don't remember where, but anyways. And... I'm just so happy with it. This was $50 and then the side table was $30. Actually the perfect size because we can actually fit our speaker behind it and I'm just obsessed with the way they look. I feel like it's just like so our vibe and I really just scored. So we got both of these for $90 like with tax and I'm just, I'm so excited. I'm so happy. Yesterday, Matt came downstairs and was like, I forgot I had this on my bookshelf. He hasn't read it yet, but it is like a Game of Thrones prequel. So I'm really excited to start this. Um, so I might, <laughs> Matt was like, bring it with you on your work trip, but it's kind of a hefty book to bring on the plane. So I don't know, I might start that today. We'll see. I really don't plan on doing anything today besides going to my nail appointment. It snowed again last night. It's literally been snowing here since Wednesday straight. It has not stopped. So that's my morning update. Some laundry to put away.
Hello says, good afternoon everybody. I hope you're having a really great day so far. I'm just being a clingy girl and I want to be right next to my mom. I don't know why, I just do. Hi, double gloomy. Oh, there she goes. She's down. She's down for the count. Hi guys. Hello. This is like the first time I'm actually saying happy Sunday. So happy Sunday. I tried like a cute little trendy TikTok hairstyle and I just don't think it's for me. I just don't really think I, it's a cute moment, but it's okay. It's kind of fun. I gotta take a shower after anyways. I'm gonna have a whole like little self-care Sunday, but it's currently 2.30. You guys are probably seeing this around four because I actually spent the morning editing this video. I just have to put this clip in to end it off. But I'm in my little self-care club sweater I thought was appropriate. I'm having a little homebody self-care weekend and there's nothing wrong with that. I feel like sometimes I feel a lot of societal pressure to like go out and all that stuff, but it's just not for me. And I'd rather sit in my house and chill. I feel bad because I ended up canceling my nail appointment because it's storming really bad out and like I just I don't know the roads are really bad I really don't want to be out unless I have to be Matt said the roads are really slippery and then I feel bad because he was going to his dad's to watch football so I was like oh I'm just gonna stay home but then he obviously still went but anyways yeah I feel like very refreshed going into the week honestly I am feeling like a little emotional and anxious though I think just because I am traveling for work this week and I don't know, but I also am about to start my period, so I think that could also be why I'm like just very emotional and whatnot, but yeah, like you know when you're like feeling choked up inside, like I feel like I'm like six seconds away from a mental breakdown, <laughs> but I feel fine, like otherwise I feel okay, like there's nothing really going on, I just feel like there's a lot of unknowns right now in our life and I'm not really good at like going with the unknown. I have a lot of thoughts. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would know I'm just feeling very overwhelmed and I'm honestly just like not sure what my next step is in life. I always said I never want to be a full-time creator, but I also would love to like spend more time growing on other platforms, but I just don't have the time. Like I can barely keep up with YouTube. And Abby asked them post on her story the other day and said that balancing work in YouTube is something that's like manageable, but it's not sustainable. And I kind of agree with the way that she says that. And I'm just wondering what my next step is. I, like I said, I never wanted to become a full-time creator, but I don't know, maybe maybe that's in the cards for me for a little bit to try out, at least till I'm done school, because while school is not like a huge workload for me, it is like, it is an added stress on my plate, and yeah, but YouTube brings me so much joy, filming brings me so much joy, editing brings me so much joy, like the YouTube component isn't what's hard, I think it's just like balancing everything, and I don't know, I know that obviously a lot of people follow me because I have a job and I'm relatable, and you guys know that when I quit my last job, I really went through this like mindset shift of like, your job doesn't define who you are but i almost feel like in a sense it, my job does define who i am on social media because it makes me relatable and i've had some really good conversations with you guys about how like a job doesn't make you relatable it's just like who you are and like you know your responsibility and your actions is what makes you relatable and i do agree with that to a point but i actually last year made a list of like a checklist for like quitting my job like i will quit my job when xyz happens and I actually hit all of those things a few months ago and I'm just too scared to like take the leap. Um, it was like hit a certain amount of subscribers, have a certain amount of like consistent monthly income. Like I'd wanna be able to pay myself a salary. Funny, Matt is like always team quit my job. Like any chance he gets to tell me like, just quit your job, just do it. Like just take the leap. Like I couldn't ask for a more supportive partner, but I'm just not sure. <sighs> I don't know, I don't know. And I think that honestly, uh, if I were to like go full-time with content creation, I would be even more strict on my budget Like I don't think that I could give into lifestyle inflation because I have a lot of financial anxiety And I mean, I think I'd be more like strict on myself if I did just do content creation full-time Because I know for a lot of people their like biggest fear is when like creators become unrelatable and I totally agree with that But I don't really see our lifestyle changing too much if I were to go full-time with content creation Just because I am so like strict on like saving and investing. Yeah, I don't know I've also like toyed with the idea of going somewhere casual in the hospital that's like you know i could just pick up a few hours every week if i wanted to and then if i didn't want to i didn't have to it was just kind of there if i wanted the extra money like clerking when i did that 
but I don't know I, I think it's hard because I really love my job like I love it and so I've considered maybe taking like a leave of absence because if you're in the hospital you can take education leave so I was curious if I could do that for six months or a year but I don't know I'm still just like weighing everything out but it's just definitely been weighing on my heart and my mind a lot lately of like what my next step is and I feel like I already upload a lot like three times a week is a lot to upload on YouTube and so I think if I were to be able to go full-time with content creation I would probably be able to upload more consistently on Instagram and maybe try and grow my TikTok. I don't want to say that my videos aren't great quality because I'm just like a very raw unfiltered person like I like my vlogs to be like this like just casual but I'd be able to you know like think things out a bit more and I don't know like try out new techniques with like editing and stuff and just have some more time. So I don't know. I'm curious what your thoughts are. Let me know down below. I'm very curious. I obviously know like not everyone if I were to quit would stick around because having a job does make someone relatable. I get that aspect, but I do like I said also think a lot of it has to do with your like lifestyle habits. I have a lot on my mind. And I don't know. I always told myself 2023 would be the year and <sighs> yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not too sure yet, but I feel like I I'm not burnt out by any means, but I'm just I find myself always being stressed and anxious and I think that's just like a component of life in general like you're always gonna have some kind of stress in your life but I feel like like Abby said like it's manageable but not sustainable and I always think to myself like could I be a better partner a better friend a better daughter a better granddaughter if I had more free time in my life right um I do turn down a lot of opportunity for like PR events and all this kind of stuff because I have to go to a job which it, that's fine but I don't know I'm just curious to see I feel like it's one of those things I had a conversation with you guys on DMs and you were saying that like you'll never know until you take the leap and how could you fail at doing something you love right and I am like of the mindset that like if it doesn't work out for me and not from a financial sense but like if I don't find fulfillment in being a content creator full time I have no shame going back to a normal job like that doesn't matter to me but I'm always the kind of person that's like one day I'll do it one day I'll do it and then like one day the opportunity is gonna pass me by you know and i'll never know what it would have been like anyways i'm just like babbling and ranting but i think it's important to have these conversations with you guys and open up because yeah like last week was a really bad week for me i was so stressed i like cried which is why i didn't really vlog much of the week i was just so overwhelmed and yeah i've also considered like getting not necessarily a lower stress job but a job i could just like leave at work obviously when you're in a corporate setting a lot of the time right like you're that person for that role so people are emailing you after hours and i have very good work boundaries like i don't check my email i don't even have my emails on my phone or teams i don't check my emails in the evening i don't work longer than i have to i don't check them on weekends but when you're that one person for that role you're never really gone from work right like when i'm on vacation there's no one really to cover me it'd be nice to like go to back to a job i think that's one thing i miss about clerking is that like get paid the same but i can leave work at work there's no expectation right so i'm just wondering i would love to like brainstorm a bit more and i don't know maybe freelance or something like do something on the side um but we'll see i there's just a lot i want to do and i feel like i don't have the energy for it like i struggle to work out because i don't have the energy after i juggle two jobs all week and ha ah, yeah but anyways we're just in the brainstorming phase there's nothing like set in stone i'm not like quitting my job right now or anything I'm just having, you know, like an open and honest conversation with you guys and just like wondering honestly what my next step is. I really am curious. I would love to travel more for work and you guys love when we travel because we travel on a budget. I would love to get to do more of that and I'd love to even just get to fly to Toronto to go to events, to meet up with my YouTube manager, to I'd love to have more time to like put into YouTube and I don't know start a new series maybe i always just think like if not now when you know and maybe it's just not in the cards for me to be a full-time creator at all but i'm always like one day i'll do it one day i'll do it but then you know what if i never take that leap and i regret it and it's also hard too because i really love my job which is why i'm leaning towards maybe just taking like a leave but i don't know so let me know your thoughts down below i'd love to know my battery my battery my battery is dying so this is my chance to end this vlog off but i hope you guys enjoyed this little weekend vlog i love you guys so much and i'll talk to you guys next time bye